Hello everyone, this is Mike Blue. I'm the guidance counselor, as you know, at Hicksville High School, and I am welcoming you to our first ever virtual senior awards program. And I must tell you that I don't really like doing it this way, but unfortunately we don't have a different way of doing this because of this dumb COVID stuff. So I just want to thank you all for watching this. Um, seeing what our kids have earned through their hard work and uh, it's just a real special time for our kids that have you know been 13 years of, of high school and elementary school and middle school um, to honor them and so we're gonna get this show started and I just want to say this right up front don't mock my hair I haven't had a haircut for like two months thank you everybody enjoy Hi, I'm Mr. Gahagan here to present the Bowling Green State University Freshman Scholarship on behalf of my alma mater. The BGSU Freshman Scholarship in the amount of $3,500 renewable, so that's $14,000 in the four years combined, goes to Sophie Clark. Congratulations, Sophie. At this time, it is my honor and pleasure to award the Defiance College Freshman Scholarship worth 80 grand, $8,000 to Summer Reinhardt. Congratulations, Summer. 80 grand, Defiance College, fine institution. Good luck to you. Hello, everyone. It's me again, and I am going to have the honor of telling you about Reagan Denning and some scholarship monies that she's earned. She's going to Erskine um, College. She's gonna be playing some volleyball down there. And she has earned the Erskine uh, Garnett Academic and the Flying Fleet Athletic Scholarship, all totaling $113,800 over four years of college. Pretty good amount of money. Congratulations to Reagan. I am pleased to present the Ferris State Kendall College of Art and Design Scholarship to Madison Lister in the amount of $26,000. Congratulations. I am now blessed with the opportunity to announce scholarship winners to the University of Indiana, Fort Wayne. $8,000 to Mackenzie Miller, $4,000 to Brooklyn Graber and Reagan Neidhart. Very nice. Congratulations, young lady. Good luck. Just so happens I have a diploma from IU, too. So you got a lot of high standards to live up to there, ladies. Good luck to you. Surprise, everyone. It's me again. Um... I have the honor of now talking to you about Kennedy Valena. Kennedy is going to be going to Ohio Northern University and she's majoring in pharmacy, which of course during these times we really need our pharmacists. So we're really proud of her and Kennedy has earned at Ohio Northern their freshman scholarship and the Ohio CARES grant and all told over four years she has earned through her grades $125,980. Congratulations to Kennedy. As an alumni of The Ohio State University, I have the honor to recognize Peyton Yoder with the Ohio State University Freshman Scholarship. It is a $1,250 per year, renewable for all four years. So congratulations, Peyton. OH. Hi, I'm Mr. Gahagan here to present the University of Toledo Freshman Scholarship on behalf of my second alma mater. The UT Freshman Scholarship in the amount of $5,000 renewable, so $20,000 for the four years combined, goes to Josh Swift. Congratulations, Josh.
I am honored to present the Audrey Davis Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship was created by Brooklyn Graber, an HHS graduate in 2020, to honor her friend Audrey Davis. Many people contributed to make this scholarship possible. Thank you. Audrey Davis graduated from Hicksville High School in 2015 and was well known for being a positive role model throughout her lifetime. Audrey passed away unexpectedly in December of 2018, but her memory will always live on. The purpose of this scholarship is to help a current Hicksville High School senior attend college in remembrance of Audrey. The recipient of this scholarship should demonstrate the qualities that Audrey did. To apply for this scholarship, applicants must be a member of or participate in one of the following, cheerleading, National Honor Society, or drama productions. This year, the committee has decided to award three scholarships, each in the amount of $1,000. The first recipient of the Audrey Davis Memorial Scholarship is Miss Natalie Swenson. Congratulations, Natalie. The second recipient of the $1,000 scholarship is Brooklyn Graber. Congratulations, Brooklyn. And the final recipient is Miss Sophie Clark. Congratulations, Sophie. We would also like to thank Brooklyn and Sophie for all of their hard work on this project. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Paul Omar, and I'm here to present the 2020 Noah Carrickson Denise Obermeyer Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship is named for Noah Carrickson, a Hicksville student whose courage in the face of cancer is an inspiration to all of us, and Denise Obermeyer, the lady who initially set up this scholarship in Noah's name. The winner of this year's scholarship is Mackenzie Miller and Kennedy Valena. Congratulations, ladies. Hey, it's Jody Bland, and I am representing the Hicksville Chamber of Commerce, and we're super excited to announce our first recipient of our scholarship. It's a $500 scholarship. So a big shout out and congratulations to Summer Reinhardt on being our very first recipient. Congratulations, Summer. Can't wait to see what you do in the future. Hi, I'm Jack Schock. I'm treasurer for the Athletic Boosters. And uh, what we'd like to do is I'd like to uh, present scholarship, athletic scholarships to two young people that are deserving. Uh, this scholarship is sponsored by the Athletic Boosters and also Sailor's Store here in Hicksville, west of town, Stan Sailor and Ken Sailor. Uh, it's gonna be help with the, the, the booster uh, dollar amounts. The scholarships will go to, first of all, to Brooklyn Graber, the lady scholarship, and the boy scholarship will go to Josh Swift. I'd like to now introduce you to another one of our seniors who has won a scholarship. Her name is Summer Reinhardt, and Summer has won the Parker Hannafin Scholarship, which you have to be majoring in a business degree or a uh, university engineering program, technical program, something along those lines. And Parker Hannafin does this every year, and we surely appreciate it but they had presented Summer with $1,000 to use towards her education at Defiance College in which she is majoring in business. Congratulations to Summer. Hi, I'd like to present the uh, Bud Altman Scholarship Award to Kendi de Valena and the Masonic Lodge Scholarship to Ethan Laney. My name is Larry Yoder. I'm the trustee for the Thornburg Scholarship Trust. 
With me is Helen's first cousin, Lanier Yoder. Helen Thornburg was a respected community member and resident of the village of Hicksville, Ohio. And upon her death, the Helen Thornburg Scholarship Trust was created. This year, the trust earned enough interest to generate three $5,000 scholarships. The three recipients of the Helen Thornburg Scholarship for 2020 are Brooklyn Graber, Natalie Swenson, and Kennedy Valina. Congratulations. Congratulations, girls, and good luck in your future. Hello, my name is Eric Bassett. I'm a trustee of the Hicksville Eagles, and I'm here to represent the Hicksville Eagles and announce the winners of our scholarships. This year, we are giving away 18 $1,000 scholarships, and one of those scholarships also gets an extra $250 for the Kenny Hinch Award, which had the most points received out of all the applicants. Uh, this year, of the 18 applications or scholarships we're giving away, three of those will be current Hicksville High School seniors that will be graduating high school. The three high school students from Hicksville that will be getting these scholarships will be Kennedy Valena, Jacob Miller, and Peyton Yoder. The other 15 scholarships we are also giving away, $1,000 each, will be going to 13 Hicksville graduates from Hicksville that are currently enrolled in college and are furthering their uh, educational career. One student from Antwerp and one student from Paulding. Well, we are giving away a total of $18,250 this year, and we'd like to congratulate all the seniors and all the college kids that will be receiving these and wish you guys the best of luck in the future. Thank you. My name is Mary Kay Shimko, and I am the treasurer for the Johnson Memorial Library Friends. And on behalf of the Friends, we would like to present a scholarship award for $500 each to Mackenzie Miller, Sophie Clark, and Carly Schur. Congratulations and best wishes to you. The winner of this year's Hicksville Board of Education scholarship in the amount of $700 is Brooklyn Graber. Congratulations. Hello, hello, I am Chad Yoder, and I'm representing the Hicksville School Foundation. We award one graduating senior with a one-time $500 scholarship each year. The senior is anonymously selected at the beginning of their senior year from an essay contest and joins our board for the remainder of the school year. The student liaison attends our meetings, assists in our fundraising efforts, and is a voting member of the HSF board. The winner of this year's scholarship is Sophie Clark. Hello, I'm Jackie Underwood, and I'm presenting the Daniel L. Underwood MD Scholarship. This year it goes to Peyton Yoder. Peyton, I was really impressed with your application and the fact that you want to go into research. We need it so much now. Good luck to you. Hi, I'm Lynn Bowser, and I'm representing the Hicksville Bank. I'm here to present the Hicksville Bank Scholarship this year to Peyton Yoder. Congratulations, Peyton and Class of 2020 from the Hicksville Bank. Hello again, everyone. I'm here to present a scholarship from Steel Dynamics, known as SDI. They have given a scholarship, $5,000 per year times four years, to our very own Sarah Contreras. So that's $20,000 that Sarah gets to use at college because dad works at SDI. Congratulations to Sari and thanks a bunch to SDI. Well, it's my pleasure as a Hicksville Rotary uh, member to announce the winners of the Rotary uh, Scholarship winners. So our first winner for the Hicksville Rotary Endowment Scholarship is Brooklyn Graber, and that's in the amount of $1,000. And we uh, also have uh, some winners for the Hicksville Rotary Foundation Scholarships, and there are several of those. These are all for $1,000 each. That's Katie Brisky, Sophie Clark, Mackenzie Miller, Summer Reinhardt, Kennedy Villana, and Peyton Yoder. And this year's winner of the Teagarn Scholarship 
in the amount of $2,187.20 is Natalie Swenson. Congra congratulations, everyone. Hello again. First off, I want to say I apologize that you're seeing me so often, but with school out and nobody being allowed in the buildings and all this stuff going on, um, I didn't have a lot of presenters this year, and I apologize to the kids and to you all for that, but that's why I'm doing a lot of these myself. So sorry that you're seeing me so many times, but at this time I would like to um, say a big thank you to Leon Neidhart as again this year she's presented a couple of scholarships in the amount of $2,500 to our students. She and her husband, the late Edward uh, Neidhart, have been so good to the school here and still doing crazy good things for us. And I want to thank them and tell you that Brooklyn Graber and Reagan Neidhart have both won the Neidhart Scholarship of $2,500. Congratulations to both the girls. Hi, it's a great honor and privilege to present the first annual Deb Yoder Memorial Award Scholarship to uh, Peyton Yoder. Salutatorian and uh, voted most studious, and uh, just wanted to give her this award to uh, represent Eakville uh, High School, salutatorian, and everything. Okay. It is my distinct pleasure to award the Colonel F. Stephen F. O. Mavis History Citation Award. There's a nice spiel that I am going to read about this, and then I will announce the winner of the $1,080 scholarship. Right now, it is congratulations to Reagan Neidhart. You have been named to receive the Colonel Stephen F. O. Mavis History Award for 2020 because you have demonstrated a special interest in the study of history in the judgment of your high school history teachers. Colonel Mavis was a student of history and a loyal and devoted alumnus of Hicksville High School. This award is made from a fund created to honor the memory of Colonel Mavis, who graduated from Hicksville High School in the class of 1923. He later attended Ohio State University, and while a student there, he was commissioned a reserve officer in the United States Reserve Officer Training Corps. He was admitted to practice law in Ohio in 1932. He lived in Columbus, Ohio, Washington, D.C., and Granville, Ohio after graduating from high school. In 1940, he became an active officer in the U.S. Army and served in the Allied Military Government Service of the Army during World War II. At the time of his death in 1985, he was retri retired from service in the United States Central Intelligence Agency. His honors include the Bronze Star with Oak Leaf Cluster, the Crown of Italy Degree of Cavalier, and Degree of Commendators, and he was named an honorary member of the Polish 3rd Carpathian Division. The family and friends of Colonel Mavis, who established the Colonel Stephen F. O. Mavis History Award, Hope that this award to you stimulates your continued interest in the study of history and your loyalty to Hicksville High School. Signed, Doris J. Mavis, the family and friends of Colonel Stephen F. O. Mavis. Congratulations again to Reagan Neidhart. Okay. Hello, my name is Bob Breidenbaugh. I'm a member of the Hicksville Kiwanis Club, and I would like to present two scholarships, one to Summer Reinhardt and the other to Janice Green. These are in memory of Verlin Rex, who was a former Kiwanis member and also a teacher in the Hicksville school system. Thank you. Hi, I'm here to present on behalf of the members of the Hicksville Education Association. Each year we pull money to distribute to deserving seniors who plan to attend college. This year we pulled $1,200 and had five deserving applicants for the scholarship. Because of the strength and the need of each student who had applied, our scholarship committee decided to award five scholarships 
of $240 each. The recipients of the Hicksville Education Association Scholarship are Katie Brisky, Peyton Yoder, Reagan Nyhart, Brooklyn Graber, and Mackenzie Miller. Congratulations to each of those students, and on behalf of all of the Hicksville Exempted Village School teachers, we wish you all of the greatest success. Hello, I'm a new teacher here, and I would like to present the new Millennium Educational Award, $5,000 per year times four years, $20,000 total to Reagan Neidhart because dad works at New Millennium. So big thanks to them and congratulations to Reagan. By the way, it's me again, sorry. Good evening, my name is Sandra Thiel. I'm a board member and committee member for the Edgerton Area Foundation. I am presenting a scholarship this evening on behalf of the Robert and Alice Longsworth Memorial Scholarship. Please read your packet on the information about the donors of this award and your instruction on how to receive your award. I am pleased to present the 2020 award for $750 to Kennedy Valena. Congratulations and good luck. I have another scholarship to present. This one is the Hicksville Pharmacy Scholarship and the good people uptown at the Hicksville Pharmacy, the Myers family, uh, wants to try to get more people going to the pharmacy um, profession, profession. And this year we have a dandy. Kennedy Valena is actually going to Ohio Northern, as I think I've told you before, to be a pharmacist. And so they have awarded her a $500 scholarship, and this is renewable. So good for them for doing this for one of our own, and congratulations to Kennedy for earning it. Hi, my name's Bob Weatherhead. My wife Shelly and I are representing Matthew Weatherhead, and we are here to give out the Francesca's Heart Scholarship, uh, a $500 scholarship based solely on love. Uh, Francesca was Matthew's wife of 16 months uh, before she was tragically lost in a car accident and her favorite thing in the world was love whether it's weddings uh, family whatever it was in fact her favorite saying was I just love love so when we ask the applicants to write the essay it's about love and how it affects their lives currently and how they see it affecting their life in the future um, we received many applications and the essays were all wonderful we forward those to Matthew who makes a choice and he sees them blindly. He doesn't know who these students are. And so uh, he's able to pick the winner from those applicants, but it was very difficult, he said. Um, and and it, it was, they're all so well written. But um, after he reviewed them, he did come up with a winner. And um, we're proud to announce that the winner of the Francesca's Heart Scholarship for $500 is Reagan Neidhart. Hello, I'm a close friend of Mr. Slattery's and I've been asked to present the Franklin B. Walter Award to one of our senior girls. Her name is Nathalie Swenson, wonderful young lady. I met her once or twice and she has earned $200 um, in this prestigious award that does go to one of our top seniors and she's a good one. Congratulations to her and to all you wonderful Hicksville people who know her. Hey ACES, the Parent Teacher Organization Scholarship Committee is excited to announce the winners of two senior scholarships in the amount of $1,000 each to Brooklyn Graber and Kennedy Valena. Congratulations girls. Hi, I'm Ed Foster, and uh, first of all, I would like to congratulate all the 2020 graduates of Hicksville High School. I am here uh, representing St. John Lutheran Church in Hicksville, Ohio, 
and I am on the endowment committee. And one of our endowments is a Martin Luther Scholarship Fund, which was one of our larger funds in the endowments. We have four graduating seniors that will be receiving the Martin Luther money from the Martin Luther Scholarship Fund this year. Uh, the 2020 Hicksville graduates that will be receiving this is Katie Brisky, Janice Green, Summer Reinhardt, and Jake Rickman. These scholarships are in the amount of $1,600, and they can reapply for these scholarships for up to five years. I would like to again congratulate all the graduates, but especially Katie, Janice, Summer, and Jake. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mrs. Gerken, and I am the advisor for the Hicksville High School Chapter of National Honor Society. Each year at our Senior Awards Banquet, we present our senior NHS members with a blue and gold tassel. This tassel is to be worn on the graduation cap to signify that the graduate is a member of National Honor Society. So each student receives a blue and gold tassel and we read the names at the ceremony. So I would like to do that today uh, to honor our senior National Honor Society members. And they are Sophie Clark, Brooklyn Graber, Janice Green, Ethan Laney, Madison Lister, Mackenzie Miller, Reagan Neidhart, Natalie Swenson, Joshua Swift, Isaac Strubing, Kennedy Valena, and Peyton Yoder. Congratulations, graduates, and don't forget to wear your blue and gold tassel on graduation day. Congrats. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gerken, and today I am presenting the Senior Drama Awards to the Class of 2020. This year's Senior Drama Award is presented to Ethan Copland for excellence in the dramatic arts. Congratulations, Ethan. The next award is the Four-Year Drama Award, and this is presented to Reagan Neidhart to recognize excellence in the dramatic arts during all four years of high school. Congratulations, Reagan. The Outstanding Choral Musician Award goes to choir students who show what it means to truly be hardworking and outstanding musicians. This year in choir, we have two seniors, so I award this certificate to Michaela Keeley and Bain Mannion. Congratulations. I have two awards to give my seniors. The Nutrition and Wellness Award goes to Jordan Wolf, and the Child Development Award goes to Brooklyn Graber. Hey there, Coach Smith here. I've got three awards I want to hand out to some very deserving seniors in my strength and the conditioning class. The first is Jake Miller. He's been doing just a great job, um, even during this. Um, distance learning phase that we're currently wrapping up. He still sends me some videos and, and pictures of, of new weightlifting maxes or the stuff that he's doing. So just really proud to see how he's continuing to grow. Um, the second person is Jonah Gipple. Jonah just coming off of his ACL injury this fall and just seeing the rehab work that he's done and, and the, the attitude and the effort that he's had during the during this year has just been incredible. I'm just really impressed and proud of him. And the third one is Brant Balzer. Brant just has really come on here at the end of the school year. Um, bench press 300 pounds, you know, was our leader there. And just real impressed to see these three seniors rise up and uh, excited to see what the future holds for them. Congrats, guys.
This year, our only senior on the academic team was Ethan Copland, and Ethan it was an amazing leader on the team and uh, has an amazing array of knowledge. And congratulations, and I hope you do an outs have an outstanding life. For my outstanding desktop publishing award this year, I am choosing two students, Reagan Denning and Janice Green. Um, both of these students have been my, they have been my right and left hand. They have done an amazing job and have continued to put forth really a tremendous amount of effort to help create this year's yearbook, which has been extremely difficult in this time of online learning. So um, thank you girls and I am going to miss you next year. This year's Outstanding Anatomy Award goes to Ethan Laney. He uh, always did an outstanding job and even though he is maybe not planning a career in the medical field, he definitely has an aptitude in that area. So congratulations, Ethan. Outstanding physics student for this year goes to Kennedy Valena. An outstanding chemistry two student goes to Natalie Swenson. Uh, each year, Mr. Payne and I get together and decide who will be the outstanding senior science award. And this year it goes to Kennedy Valena. So congratulations, Kennedy. Hola, el premio de estudiante de español senior es para Trevion Tunis. That was me using my many years of Spanish skills from staying in Mexico for 10 to 15 years as a younger child. Um, I was there as a missionary. Okay, no, I wasn't. I'm actually reading the translator right in front of me. But congratulations to Travian. Um, Mrs. Liddell really liked having you in class. Hello, seniors. Happy first, last, and last first virtual senior awards night. Awards night. Yes, it is. Pretty crazy. Uh, I am just have this to tell you all right now. I am granting you all, every senior, the Senior Seminar Corona Craziness Award of the Year. I know it's exciting, but you've all survived. We're going to move on. Life is going to be awesome. Peace out. Rock on. Hi, I'm Mr. Gahagan, and I'm here to present my classroom awards to seniors. 19 of our seniors took on the challenge and the opportunity to earn college credit through my dual enrollment college composition one and two courses through UT. These students saved themselves roughly $2,300 by taking the course while in high school, but also took advantage of the opportunity to give themselves an academic head start. Congratulations to those students. I commend your motivation. For awards for comp, I've decided to award one student from each comp one and comp two. The student receiving the outstanding dual enrollment UT Composition One Award is one that never feared asking questions, always had a pleasant and frankly funny personality, and she came out of her shell and became more outgoing during class discussions. I've thoroughly enjoyed getting to educate her this year. This student is Reagan Nyhart. Congrats, Reagan. The student receiving the outstanding dual enrollment UT Composition II award is one of the hardest working seniors I've ever witnessed. She is always staying ahead of the game, working ahead, and has dedicated herself to growing as a writer. I feel lucky to have had the opportunity to educate her. This student is Sophie Clark. Congratulations, Sophie. For College Prep English, or English 12, I have decided to give two awards, one for each period I teach of the course. For my period four English 12 class, the recipient of the Outstanding English 12 Student Award goes to a student that has always dedicated herself to her work and pushed to do her best no matter what obstacle. 
this student is Josie Knox. Congrats, Josie. For my period six English 12 class, the recipient of the Outstanding English, English 12 Award goes to a student with a fantastic sense of humor and one that knows the definition of dedication. She's a curious learner and always strives to do her best. This student is Sari Contreras. Congrats, Sari. Thank you and congrats to the class of 2020. Thank you for joining us for the Senior Class of 2020's Awards Banquet. At this time, I'm going to announce the United States Military Recognition. These seniors will receive the cords to wear at commencement that are red, white, and blue. The seniors that have signed into the military are Joshua Carnes, Army, and Eric Chapman, Army. Congratulations and thank you. The next award to be presented is the Outstanding Vocational Student. This student from Hicksville received the gold cord to wear at commencement. That student representing Hicksville is Samantha Richter. Congratulations, Samantha. Hello, everyone. I know you're tired of seeing me, but I have a really, really um, important number of awards to give away right now. These awards mean a lot to me uh, because these are uh, the Honors Diploma Awards where the students involved have gone above and beyond in the number of classes um, of higher academic rigor that they've taken over the course of their uh, high school career. The Honors Diploma, to earn it, uh, you've got to take more science, more math, um, more electives, uh, in particular, the um, foreign languages, you got to have high grades, you got to score well on the ACT. Uh, with that said, we have a number of students that I'm going to name off to you that I'm very proud of. Um, at graduation, they'll be wearing a silver cord that represents honors diploma, um, and they went above and beyond, and I'm very proud of them. Those students are Sophie Clark, Brooklyn Graver, Janice Green. Ethan Laney, Madison Lister, Mackenzie Miller, Reagan Neidhart, Summer Reinhardt, Emily Smith, Nathan Sullivan, Natalie Swenson, Joshua Swift, Kennedy Valena, and Peyton Yoder. Congratulations to you all. It is now time to recognize the top 10% for the class of 2020. Those students representing the top 10% of the class are Ethan Coplin, Reagan Neidhart, Joshua Swift, Brooklyn Graber, Samantha Richter, Kennedy Valena. Our salutatorian this year is Peyton Yoder, and the valedictorian is Natalie Swenson. Congratulations to all of you on all your hard work, and good luck. Well, everyone. That is the end of our program. And with that said, I want to thank all of you for watching this and recognizing our kids. I feel so bad that, you know, the year ended the way it did because we've got some very, very, very wonderful kids that are graduating this year. And they're very deserving of accolades and congratulations, etc., etc. And I'm sorry to see them leave. Um, couple of things I want to say. Number one, thanks to the parents and to the kids for everything they've put in uh, for the last 13 years. Um, I want to thank our sponsors. Um, we've had some sponsors that have been with us for a number of years, and we've had some new ones this year, and I sure appreciate the way that Hicksville people uh, give back to the kids. And hopefully the kids go to school and they come back and, and they help make us here in Hicksville a whole lot better too. Um, I do want to tell you, I also just got the Hicksville Volunteer Firemen just contact me, and they gave a couple more scholarships. So I'm going to put a shout out to the firemen, you know, those guys that we always depend on when we need them. Um, and they came through again. They gave Reagan Denning $400 scholarship, and they gave Reagan Neidhart $600. So both of our Reagans in the class uh, got some money from them. And I appreciate the firemen, and I appreciate those girls, and congratulate them. 
Um, I do have a brochure. Uh, hopefully when uh, the seniors came in for their virtual graduation, they grabbed one of these brochures. And if you didn't get one, all you gotta do is let me know and I will make some up and get them to you. Now seniors, I am going to deliver uh, some of these awards to your houses um, and within them there's going to be some thank yous and I surely hope and while parents while you're watching I hope you have your kids make sure that they send out an appropriate thank you and I know they will and I'll have the addresses to all these places uh, that you can thank the sponsors but I'm wishing all of our seniors uh, a wonderful life and, and a success in whatever they do thank you everyone God bless.